Are you ready? Isn't that pretty? Hello everyone, it's me KK and I am back with another DIY. And today I'm going to show you how I made a traditional Philippine holiday decoration, the parol. And please don't forget to subscribe because once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we're going to have a $100 giveaway. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create glitter gel sheets. I'm just going to use my Extreme Glitter Mod Podge and then I'm going to use regular food coloring. So you're just going to mix some Mod Podge. Ooh, it smells. Let me just get this. Oh, shit. And as you can see, it shows up as pink, but once it dries, it's going to become a bright red. So once you've mixed that really well, you're going to pour it onto a plastic sheet like this. Okay, and then I'm going to scrape it with this paintbrush. You want to get as much as you can. For a full sheet, I think I used about, I want to say a quarter cup of Mod Podge. Depending on the color, I used about 10 to 15 drops of food coloring. See how you can see the white poster board behind there? Yeah, you don't want that. You may want to add a little bit more Mod Podge. When it dries, it'll be a nice red. So you want to let that dry at least overnight. Let me show you the red one that I created. You can still see my hand. That's like fruit roll-ups. There you go. Peel it off like that. Isn't that cool? Here's the green one. Let's move on to the blue one. See how easily it peels off? So cool. Super easy. I like how the yellow one came out. If you try this and you do something else with these things, then tag me, cause I like to see. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside first. I wanna show you how I did this part of the bottle. So I got these fairy lights from Amazon. I got two for $12.99 and they're battery operated and they each have a remote but you can use one remote for the both of them. So to do that part of the parole, you're going to need a wreath frame or you can also use a piece of cardboard and cut it out into a, a ring. And I got this tinsel from Walmart for 98 cents for 15 feet. So that's a really good deal. You can also do a pattern where you would do red and gold. So you would just wrap this around like so. So the entire frame is covered in tinsel. I use about 22 feet of tinsel to cover this entire wreath frame. So once the entire frame is covered with tinsel, you're going to take your fairy lights and just weave in and out of the tinsel. So I would go under that and then over the tinsel and then back under the frame and then just keep going around and around. Now I'm going to create the star of the parol. I created this star with pieces of white poster board and you can use anything you want. You can use wire or pipe cleaners. Oh crap. How did this happen? Well, at least you can see that. If it gets stuck together like this, you can easily pull it apart like that. Probably sat on this. So I've created a cutout of a flower that I want to be placed in the center of the star like so. And I want the flower to be yellow. Tape it down so it doesn't move around. And then I'm just gonna cut around the stencil. I'm going to place this flower right in the center like so.
you can adjust the light pattern. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. 